Hi guys, welcome back to the Sue Crafts. So in this video, I'm sharing a cute little album. This is the mini album Dream. This one is uh, of the same size of the um, chestnut album I had shared months ago. And this one also measures uh, four and a half by five and a half inches. So the cover is very simple and plain. I have kept it really simple. Just add a rosette here and then Dream die cut. And this is also a die cut, blue one, uh, spell binders. And this is also a beautiful die cut and a ribbon here for tying it and a cute little tag die cut for adding the name of the receiver if you want you can add it and then this this is how it looks this one is the die cut from this set this one here so i'll show you guys how it looks from inside this one okay it has got six um, sheets inside and you can add lots of photos inside here so kept it really simple you guys can see this is the first page. You can add a special photo here. Add the spell binders, uppercase alphabet die cut, and uh, this O alphabet I've just hand sketched, and uh, to make it a bit decorative, and also add some markering if you guys can see here. So this one is having six sheets here, small little fun folds inside for adding photos. This is the pull tab slider. You can add two photos, one here and one on this side. Then moving along to the next page, I have added a half pocket here with a tag inside. This is a tag here and uh, in this one I have just folded the, the uh, tag from one side and added a pattern here to give it a different look uh, than usual. Like usually I uh, just layer the pages, uh, the sheets and this is how it looks. You can also try it for your uh, next project. And the same thing I did with the pocket. I have created the pocket here and then folded one side on this side uh, this way and then added a contrast cardstock here. This is a pocket. You can add lots of photos inside. Like three or four photos you can do. I just added one tag here like this. If you have more photos, you can layer the photos and put it inside. Now on the right side, added a hand sketched, like uh, added some marking and added the text joy. You can totally change that. And this one opens on right and only one pattern I've used for the entire album you can also try it out if you have one pattern paper of or if you have one or two designs you can play with the colors and you can create the design so this is how it looks you can add four photos one here two three and four in portrait or landscape anything will do and then two photos here and it has got magnet inside it closes easily now next side uh, a simple photo pasting spot here, added some die cut here and did some layering of pattern stash. You can add your wishes here. And then this space is also having a pocket here, this is actually a pocket. You can slide the photo inside or you can just cut your photo and paste it here. If you don't want to pull it and you know do the um, inserting thing, you can just paste your photo here. You can also paste a circular shape photo if you like and did some layering here. The next page is having some snowflake effect here, some snowflakes since it's winter so it looks very nice with blue and white. Adds to a photo pasting area, small heart here, you can add two photos, landscape and portrait here. I guess two by two and a half inches would be great, you, can, you guys can measure it when you receive your album. And then um, there's a flap in the same die kit I have used here. You just need to coordinate with the die cuts and uh, papers you use for your project. It's very nice to use those um, elements. And this is how it closes and uh, opens. And there is a special die cut here. And then again, like I said, I've used just one pattern paper for the entire album. And I think I have not used the entire one. I still have some stash left. It's a mini album. So two um, photo pasting. Uh, cards here you can add your photos and this is how it looks then there is a pocket a side pocket with the text wild and free you can totally change that add your own sentiments and um, add a photo at the back or photo at the front the way you want and then over here this one is a oh uh, actually this one is also a small pocket but it looks like an envelope because you have a flap on top like so so it looks like a pocket but this entire card comes out including this card as well so this is a, a card for adding a photo and this one is again. So you just have to insert it this way that it looks like a, the cover for the envelope. This is how it looks and you open it like so. 
and added a slit here to give a different effect add some uh, die cuts here and here on the right left side I have used Martha Stewart hard leather sponge you can use whichever sponge you want or you can simply leave it or add a washi tape if you are making something so this is how it opens you can add a photo here as well a small little quotation here and this one comes down like this so uh, looks very nice here simple design you can add a photo here add some text here or at the back the way you want you can decorate it with photos and text and then this one again has a ribbon bind here and this one is also Z fold style you flip it back here two photos here add some decoration of border and whole thing goes up like so if I can zoom out a bit so that you guys can see properly here so you just have to add five photos inside this is how it works this is how it works and now I'll zoom in so that you guys can see here so this is how it looks and then onto the last page add a decorative die cut here you can add a photo here add some text if you have one sentence here and the last page is having a gateful style I've used a die cut for adding the gates of the card and this is how it looks you can add a photo over here in square shape and you close it like so looks very nice and decent so this is the mini album dream if you guys like it let me know in the comment section down below and if you want to see the photos of this project you can follow us on instagram i have uh, i will be adding uh, like posting all the photos for this project as well on instagram and on facebook as well so thank you guys keep on watching bye